right, well, we're out in the cut flower garden. There are some things that are growing over here. There's some cuties. And there's a lot of things that are growing that we don't want growing like weeds. And there are a lot of things that are growing that we want to move to the flower farm. So one of those things is these here. This is a star flower scabiosa. Um, planted just a few of them last year and they have come back like mad. So all of these have reseeded themselves. So I love things that want to volunteer. So I'm definitely going to, some of that's weeds, but most of this is that scabiosa. So I'm gonna thin these out to relocate them and hopefully they transfer okay. We'll see. Uh, the other thing that came back with a furious vengeance is these yarrows here. So I'm gonna thin these out and I'm gonna take some of these plants down there to the flower farm. Um, another thing that it's growing, so let's take you over here. That's what this is in the distance is status. This is a beautiful variation in colors for status. There's purples and pinks, and I think there's some yellows down there. So I'm just gonna thin these out a bit just to give these ones room to grow and to have some to go in the ground down there. Um, so I think that's all we're gonna be moving today, uh, but we'll probably put it in fast forward to dig up, show digging up these sections. Tomorrow should be a great day to plant. So let's get at it. Those are star flower scabiosas. We pulled star flower scabiosas and spent a lot of the time wrestling with this dog in particular while we were trying to pull the scabiosas. No, oh, stay here. Because he really needs attention pretty Come much on, all the please time. Please don't step on the plants. Uh, all right, so. We're going to do whatever she says we're going to do with these plants <laughs> because that's usually the best plan. So I had no. planted these last year. Um, they didn't get very tall last year, but look at like this one is, is blooming um, currently, which is funny. So we left some of the tallest ones and kind of nicely spaced ones, but we pulled two whole, these are all babies. So what, from what I showed you before, we thinned these all out and we just kind of popped them out. So I'm hoping that they transplant okay. Those are for cross fingers. Um, <laughs> We tried to time lapse it, but apparently I didn't hit the little red button. So anyway, instead of having a time lapse, you have a, here's the final product. <laughs> so there's this bar bit. Um, we did finish digging. We dug, just trenched out half of these yarrows because they, they're a native. They really like to grow here. They're very happy. And all, so all of those cans um, will all go down to the cut flower garden because yarrows, we love it as a filler. It's beautiful, it's native, so it's it's pretty happy. Um, and then over there with that status that I showed you, we basically kind of just thinned them in a, in a Z pattern. So we kind of did a little bit something different with all of these sections. The only other thing I was considering digging um, was some scabiosas that are over here. Um, the only reason I hesitate is that I planted them two seasons ago and they still haven't bloomed. <laughs> so I don't know if they're a biennial. I have to look back on my planting plan and see what happened with those guys, but we may dig those, but I don't think we'll do it today. This is probably good. So thanks for your help, Mr. Hindi. You're welcome. And these guys, this guy was no help. No help at all, he, were you? He was not a, entertainment. Not an enchilada, you goofball. All right, well, thanks for catching our quick little thinning and then these, you'll probably 
see us planting them down there. But thanks for coming. Watch us grow.